This morning we're going to talk about how to move a table to a new schema or to another schema. And um, really quickly, let's just give the answer. Um, let's say alter schema. This is the syntax. The syntax will be the new schema. So whatever our new schema name is. And then transfer. And this will be the old schema. And the table name. So that's the syntax. Really fast. Okay, so if you're just looking for the answer, there's the answer. Um, let's look at an example just to see how it works. So we can look at select star from sys tables. Uh, note that when we look at that, we can look at the name. Or, well, let's do it this way instead. Um, if we're looking for schemas, the schema name, we can look at the schema name and uh, schema ID. It's hard to type in the morning. And then the name of the table. Okay, so we can look at what schemas we have and um, what table or what tables our schemas are on. So let's go ahead and move uh, SO historical data to a different schema. And we can go up here, stocks, DBO. And now let's look at it. And you can see stocks. And we could even move, for instance, um, yeah, let's move Durka Durka. Um, and, and you can see now Durka Durka is under stocks. Uh, as a quick point, one of the things that I do a lot in my testing environment is I have a schema um, called testing only. And what I've done with that schema, and this is just kind of an example of how you can keep your environment clean, I have a job that every night runs and drops all of the tables on that schema because it's just for testing. So in case I forget to drop a table that's on that schema, um, it'll trash it for me. And what you can do, uh, as a case in point, is you can create a procedure that takes in a table name as its parameter and runs that same syntax that we had. So this is just a way to automate things to where you don't really have to remember the schema name and and uh, yada yada yada. It just again one of the things that I like is it keeps environments clean. Um, if I had a dollar for every time someone, you know, sat there and asked me, "Hey, you know, our environment's dirty. Can you come clean up our environment and, and all that other stuff?" It, if you if you design things right, at the beginning, you don't have to worry about all this stuff. So um, alter schema, and this time I'm just going to use stocks, uh, but it would normally be the testing only schema, and then uh, transfer um, dbo dot, and then plus uh, table name. And what this will do, and then of course, obviously, we have to. One second. What this will do, of course, is this does the move. So if I uh, uh, create a table, now notice when you create a table, you can create the table with the syntax. You can say, you know, create table stocks dot table name, um, and that's the appropriate way to do that. But in case I forget, it's one of those things that I can easily move. And it's completely automated. So uh, that's the other thing too is you don't have to remember the syntax. You don't have to retype anything out. You don't have to remember anything. You just do it. So uh, believe me, that simplifies things a lot. Um, and it's it's again, it's a very simple thing to do. But one of the things that I would I would use one of the suggestions I would make is I would use schemas for organization purposes, um, as well as for permissions and not allowing people to have access to things that you don't want them to have access to to data that you don't want them to have access to. Um, and also as well, keep your schema to kind of clean your environment, keep it clean because when you're ready to, to get rid of and remove stuff, it's nice to know, oh, all of this on this schema hasn't been used for a while or should be dropped or um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any purpose anymore. So it's, it's a very useful tool, tool as far as keeping things clean.